Hey y'all, welcome back to Cooking with Bobby Joe. I'm glad y'all decided to stop back by. Do you like the stick I found outside? I thought it would be good to use in the kitchen, you know, for mixing stuff. Don't y'all think it would make a great stirring stick? It fits perfectly in my mouth and I could help stir up the dog treats. I tried to convince mom, but she wasn't going for it. She told me I had to leave it outside. Can you believe that? Today, me and mom are going to be making some yummy human food. Creamy chicken taquitos. We found this recipe online, so we'll put a link in the description. Actually, the name of the recipe is Slow Cooker Cream Cheese Chicken Taquitos, but I guess we shortened it to creamy chicken. Anyway, it is super easy to make. Here's what you need. Two boneless chicken breasts, but we use chicken thighs because they are cheaper and mom likes the taste of dark meat better. So what mom did is she deboned six thighs. We used four in this recipe. The other two she used to try out a new dog treat recipe, so stay tuned for that. One teaspoon of chili powder, but she likes stuff spicy, so she used two teaspoons. That's the great thing about making stuff at home. You can season it to suit your taste. Hopefully it's not too spicy for dad. One teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of cumin, salt and pepper to taste, eight ounces of cream cheese, a third a cup of water, mom actually used a fourth a cup, a half a cup of shredded Colby or Mexican blend cheese, and 12 six inch corn or flour tortillas. So you start off by adding the cream cheese and all the spices. Add the water to the crock pot. Mom mixed it all together until the cream cheese was somewhat smooth. And then she added the chicken. And as I said, mom used a fourth a cup of water because she needs new glasses and messes up recipes all the time because she can't see. But the fourth a cup of water worked out perfectly. You cover and you cook on low eight hours or on high four hours. We cooked on high for four hours since mom works for home and she wanted it ready by her lunch break. A few minutes before serving, remove the chicken from the crock pot, shred with two forks and return to the crock pot. Mom shredded it while it was in the crock pot, but you can remove it to shred it to be on the safe side since the crock pot is hot. You stir the chicken up and let it cook for about 15 minutes longer. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees and you'll place about a fourth a cup of the chicken mixture onto the middle of each tortilla. You top with one to two tablespoons of shredded cheese. Mom went ahead and added the shredded cheese into the chicken mixture and let it cook for that last 15 minutes it was in the crock pot. Roll the tortillas tightly. She said she didn't roll tightly enough but they were great anyway. You place them in a single layer on a greased baking sheet. If you have cooking spray, spray the tortillas lightly before putting in the oven to help them crisp better. Bake 10 minutes until the tortillas are slightly browned and the shredded cheese is melted if you're using the shredded cheese on each tortilla. And then you serve with your desired toppings and sauces. Y'all will love this recipe. This makes great leftovers for lunch the next day too. We are giving this recipe my drool worthy stamp of approval. If y'all try it out, let us know how you liked it and also leave a comment on the website where the recipe is listed to let her know how much you loved it so she will continue to post more jewel worthy treats like this one. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for a new dog treat recipe and maybe another human treat if mom has time. Until next time, y'all have a very blessed week.